It looks like any other road project, but this stretch of West 64th Avenue between Miller and Ward Road is no ordinary cone zone. That's because the city is testing new technology, applying warm mix asphalt instead of the traditional hot mix asphalt. In this case, we've milled two inches of surface. We're putting two inches back. The big difference, however, is between the hot mix and the warm mix. Now we're using hot mix on one side of the road, warm mix on the other side. And the difference is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The lower production and placement temperatures make warm mix asphalt a greener alternative, reducing both fuel consumption and production of greenhouse gases. The reduction for the fuel consumption can be anywhere from 20 to 35 percent and even up to 50 percent. So as far as sustainability goes, it's an awesome product to use. First developed in Europe and used there for years, the trend toward warm mix asphalt has gained momentum in this country. In 2010, there were 42 million tons of warm mix asphalt produced, and that resulted in a savings of over 35 million gallons of fuel. So that's just one of the benefits of warm mix asphalt. And here on 64th, so far the greener side of the road looks like a winner, says city engineer Keith Uren. Warm mix asphalt costs about the same as hot mix, but could go lower as more is used in the future. And it allows for a longer paving season since it can be placed at cooler temperatures. It is compacted quicker, put traffic on it sooner. You get density of the asphalt, which is very important for long-term lasting effect of the road. And so that's one of the benefits. The warm mix asphalt is expected to behave the same as traditional hot mix. The oil content is the same, the aggregate's the same, it's basically the same mix. Again, it just comes down to the difference in production temperatures and placement temperatures. We're real excited about it. We think it's the wave of the future, not just for Arvada, but the entire country.